in this video I want to talk about anti differentiation or integration okay so uh, let's start with differentiation because integration or the anti differentiation is the opposite of differentiation so you know that d by dx if you have a function of d by dx of x squared this is a quadratic function so it this differentiates to 2x okay if you have d by dx of say x squared plus 1 that also differentiates to 2x okay so what is the differentiation of d by d or what is the differentiation of x squared minus 4 that is also 2x okay so as i told you the uh, anti differentiation uh, or integration is the opposite of this so uh, as okay so what uh, what I mean is this implies if you integrate this function that means this is how you write this is a notation integration of 2x dx now this is how do you read this this is you can read this in different ways so one way of reading is this is the sign of integration so let me write the word integration this is either called uh, I generally call this integration uh, some books may also call it or anti-differentiation okay it's anti-differentiation or anti-derivative anti-differentiation differentiation okay hopefully I spelled it right okay so the derivative, the antiderivative or integration of 2x dx, okay, or this is with respect to x. You are integrating 2x with respect to x. That would be the opposite of this, so this should be x squared. Okay, so here I'm not exactly writing the correct answer, but I'll tell you. So what is the integration of this? If you integrate this 2x, would also give you, this will give you x squared plus 1 okay this will give you x squared plus 1 and this will give you integration of 2x in this case would give you x squared minus 4 so if you know this way if you know that differentiation of x squared is 2x you can say that integration of 2x is x squared but if you look at if you, I should write I should have written dx here sorry I should have written dx here always with respect to something so it is integration of 2x dx is equal to so let me write this properly integration of 2x dx is x squared plus 1 integration of this is x squared minus 4 but if you don't know the function if only this is given suppose only what is the integration of x squared dx sorry integration of 2x dx integration of 2x dx when you don't know what this is the this is the gradient okay so this is the gradient of something so this is dy by dx of something this is dy by dx of some function okay so when you're integrating you are integrating a gradient function and you're finding the original function okay so integration is a process of finding the original function from the gradient function so this is dy by dx this is your gradient function dy by dx so we are integrating a gradient function with respect to x so we get not one answer we get a family of solution this is called a family of solution so we can say the integration of this should be x squared plus a number which can be any constant so that's you write c this is called the C is called the constant of integration. This is called the constant of integration. Now let me explain this graphically. So how will you graph this constant of integration? So this is a function x squared plus C. So x squared plus C is a function. This is not one function but a family of functions. So let me draw. So this is your this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis so if you want to draw x squared plus c it's not one curve it's a family of curve 
so this is this can be x squared okay this can be x squared suppose this is y is equal to x squared so this is your basic parabola x squared y is equal to x squared now you can I'll copy this suppose let me copy uh, copy and paste it okay paste oops I did the wrong thing shift copy and I'm going to paste it so this can be if suppose this is you put it like this this is also x squared plus suppose this is say let me call this say this is it one this would be x squared plus one this would be x squared plus one so let me again copy paste okay and this way this can be x squared minus one this is say x squared minus two say for all these functions for x squared uh, for for x squared x squared plus one x squared minus two the uh, this the differentiation of all of them would be 2x okay so let me write the formula so this is the general formula for power function okay so formula for power function except when power is negative one formula this formula for any power function formula of any polynomial of any power of x any power of x except negative one this rule will not work when the power is negative one okay I'll not explain why but this is only for powers without x squared so the formula is like this integration of x to the power n dx this is called indefinite integration will and definite integration this doesn't have a limit okay so the yeah the formula is integration of x to the power n dx is x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c you always write when you integrate when you're doing in indefinite integration you'll understand definite integration later on uh, this is called and indefinite integration there you use always write the constant this is a constant of integration so let us take some examples to illustrate this this is a constant okay so let's take one example so integration of say x to the power of 4 dx so let me repeat it's always good to repeat now when you're integrating you should understand this is a derivative it's a, this is a derived function so this is a derivative of an original function so what we are doing is we are finding uh, the original function okay so actually we are finding uh, the family of the original function you can't exactly find the original function you can find the family from which this has come so so using this rule we say well you have to increase the power by one and divide by the new power so this is four plus one so 4 plus 1 is 5 over 5 plus c. So this is equal, let's simplify. So this is x to the power of 5 over 5 plus c. Now, as I told you that if this is the original function or the original family of the function. So if x to the power of 4 dx integrates to this, if you, if you differentiate this, you should get this back because this x to the power of 4 is the differentiation of this function so let's check this is how you can check whether your integration is right and this is one process that you should always do when you're learning differentiation and integration because this helps you to do uh, practice both skills so let us differentiate this and check whether we're getting this function and if you're not getting there's some mistake so let us differentiate d by dx of x to the power of phi over phi plus c where c is a number c is a constant so this you can apply the derivative to both of them so this is d by dx of x to the power of phi over phi you can distribute the derivative operator so plus d by dx of c okay so what is d by dx of x to the power of phi so same rule 
drop the power down and decrease the power by 1. So if you drop the power down, so this is 5x to the power of 4 divided by 5. Okay, this is already sitting here. And the derivative of constant is nothing but 0. So this implies this or this is equal to. So this and this gets cancelled. 5 and 5 gets cancelled. So you've got x to the power of 4. And that's, so we can say your answer is right. And so you can give yourself a smiley face here. Okay, let me do one more example. Okay, oops. Okay, so uh, let's take, say, integration of 4x dx. Integration of 4x dx. So let me remove the smiley face. Delete. Okay, so this is equal to applying the rule. So this is 4, the power of x is 1. So you have to increase the power by 1. So this is 1 plus 1. Let me write the formula. Divided by the new power. So the new power is 2 plus c, the constant of integration. So this is 2x squared, 2x squared plus c. And always, I always like to check my answer. So I want to check. And how will you check? When you differentiate this, you should get this back. So d by dx of 2x squared plus c. So let us distribute the derivative operator. So this is d by dx of 2x squared plus 3 by dx of the constant c. Okay, so this is the same rule. Drop the power down and decrease the power by 1. So this is 4. 2 times 2 is 4. x to the power 1 plus 0, which is nothing but 4x. So you've got this back. So your answer is Right, so you can give yourself one star. Okay, so let's do one more example. Say integration of 10 dx. This is interesting. Of 10 dx. So yeah, I'm going to do write 10 like this. This is nothing but integration of 10x to the power 0 dx. Because x to the power 0 is 1. So this is 10 Increase the power by 1, so that is 0 plus 1 divided by 1 plus c. So this simplifies to 10x plus c. So let's check. So to check, you have to differentiate the answer so that you get this back. Okay, so that's what you always remember, that this is nothing but the gradient function. So you're, when you integrate the gradient function, you get the function. Okay. And when you differentiate a function, you get the derivative of that function. So this is d by dx of 10x plus c. So I hope, I, I think you can understand this is nothing but a line. If you think about it, this is a constant. So the gradient is 10. So can you see the gradient is 10? So this is the gradient fun fun 